Hi guys, how you doing? Today I thought I'd quickly share with you a small FBA shipment as I put it together and get it sent away to Amazon. <laughs> So, like I was saying, this is only a small shipment. Usually I like to send as much as I can in one go. I tend to do 15 kilo boxes, um, but I have a few bits here that are, some of it is really quite high value and I wanna get it up there and get it sold. It's stuff, I'll quickly run through some of it now. Um, some of it just blew my mind. Recently at, at auction, you may have seen, we, we bid on um, a stationary cupboard uh, and the contents of it. We didn't win the actual cupboard, just the contents. Um, and we had looked up some of it, but a load of it we were kind of just buying blind. We didn't know quite what we were getting. But I found some really cool stuff. This, for example, is a Pitney Bowes ink cartridge for like a franking machine. And believe it or not, these are selling for about £100 on Amazon. I looked on eBay first and was surprised that they were worth 60 70 on eBay. Amazon, FBA, about 100 So that's going in. Likewise with these, these are Kyocera toner cartridges. These I'm gonna send in, I think they're about 91, 92 pounds each. These are, so yeah, they're going in. Um, this uh, was what we based our bid on, on the cupboard. Uh, we knew that this set was worth about 100 on Amazon. Uh, it's got a really good rank, sells day in, day out. Um, I've bagged these because they, they come separately. I've just bagged them up. I'm going to put links below to the stuff that I use, the equipment I use on Amazon FBA. So bags, suffocation warning labels, um, labels to print off. I'll show you in a minute uh, as we progress in the video the labels that I print out that I stick on the barcode labels. I'll share a link to those that I use. They're really cheap to get hold of. Um, so yeah, this is what we based our bid on. We knew we'd get £100 out of these after commission, um, probably about 80 something like that. So we bid up to £80. So everything else we kind of saw as a freebie. And as you can see, some of it has turned out to be really good. Um, these surprised me. These are challenge receipt books, but it's a sealed pack of 10. And there is a listing for this pack on Amazon and I think it was about £80. And I thought, well, nobody's going to be buying it at that. I looked up on um, Camel and Keeper and it had been selling at that price. Uh, I had a few that weren't sealed from an opened pack that I'm going to put on eBay for about £10 each. So they are worth surprisingly good money. So that's going in as a sealed pack. Um, a couple of bits of electronics that I have. These were secondhand loose bits, so I have bubble wrapped them um, and then the label will go on the outside. Um, some games, I picked up a, a Nintendo Wii bundle on eBay um, recently, thanks to Joe Pennies who actually tipped me off about it. It was local to me and it was local collection only. Um, got a really good deal, a couple of bits of that I'm sending up. I'm sending up this Mario Galaxy 2 and really nice really minty fresh version of Mario Kart on the Wii with the wheel, the big box version. So they're going in. Uh, and a few other bits and bobs. Oh, like these. These again were from the stationary cupboard. Not much value in them, but they're pretty worthless on eBay. On Amazon, they're about six, seven pounds each. So they're just telephone message books. So they're going in as well. So what I'm gonna do in a minute, I'll show you the screen uh, where I have logged all of this stuff in, the stuff that's going up, and then we will generate the labels. I'll show you uh, the labels I use, stick those on, and we will pack the box and get it sent away. Okay, so this is the shipment as it stands. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight product lines. You can see I've got the quantities of each that are going in here. I've already inputted all of the uh, the condition details and the prices. Uh, if we come down here, we will be able to print labels for this page. Um, that's downloaded a PDF, if I click on that. And then, so it's configured them for the labels that I use. 
So that's how many labels are going to print out. And it's just a case of putting the labels in the printer and clicking go. Okay, so these are the labels I use. They are, what is it, 21 I think per page? No, 27 per page. Um, so we'll just pop that in. I love this printer so much. I picked this up last year. It's a Samsung laser printer. Fantastic thing. And then click print. And away it goes. Come on, do your thing. Okay. So, there we have the labels. Like I say, normally I would do much bigger shipments and it would be a couple of pages, if not three or four pages. Um, but this is just a little one. So, we have labels. Uh, so we'll quickly add these, or stick these onto the products. If you're gonna get into this, basically all you need to do is cover up the existing barcode. So this does have a barcode showing. So just stick that over the top, job done. And again, cover up the barcode. One, two, and that's those done. So I bagged these up so all of the barcodes are on the back so they're all facing inwards so they're not showing. Um, so we'll put the label, we'll just stick it right on the front there like that. Job done. That's one. Two, good to go, job done. Now this one, um, it's a cardboard sleeve um, and it's the special edition that has a DVD packed inside with it, uh, which is still sealed, it's still got the little seal on the end. So I'm gonna be asking a fair bit for it and it may well go to a collector. So I don't really want to stick my sticker on the cardboard sleeve. Um, I mean, it may damage it when they're gonna get it off. So this one I'm actually gonna bag first, so I'll do that last. There's your barcode in the corner. Job done. These are the ones that I've packed up myself. I'll just stick the barcode straight on top. Okay, so the Mario Galaxy, I have I keep a whole range of plastic bags um, for this job, right the way up to great big ones to put things like Guitar Heroes and stuff like that in. This is the perfect size for this. Um, I'll put links below to all of the stuff that I use. If you want to get hold of any of these little bags, you can pick them up so cheaply on Amazon. Um, also what I like to use are these Ziploc bags. These are perfect for cartridges. I use these for N64, Super Nintendo, um, Mega Drive, that sort of stuff. I was using slightly smaller ones, but I've gone for a slightly bigger size now, which kind of covers everything. So they're really good. And then these little round discs I've been using to seal up um, boxes like board games. So this sort of thing, um, just put one over the edge and wrap it under on, on two sides or four sides if you're that, that worried about it. So those are great. I was using smaller ones. Um, I've, I've kind of upgraded to these larger size, so I'll link those as well. I find those fantastic. Okay, so let's get this Mario done. Okay, much better. So that is now sealed in its little bag and we can put the sticker on again to cover up the barcode. Oops, hold on. Like so and then it's not stuck on, stuck on the actual product. So that's fantastic. If you're gonna bag stuff, um, a lot of toys and games you have to bag, a lot of secondhand stuff you have to bag. Any bag, I think the general rule of thumb is any bag that's big enough to get a, a child's head in or a baby's head in, you will have to put suffocation warning labels on or buy bags that have them printed on already. Um, I'll drop a link below to some really cheap uh, suffocation warning labels. Uh, which do the job. So, yeah, that's done. So, next job will be just find a box, whack it all in a box, and ship it off. 
Okay, so that's done. There's quite a lot of space left in here, so I'm gonna put a load of void fill in just to stop that all rattling around. Uh, and then it's just a case of printing off the label from Amazon, the UPS label, and getting it dropped off. Right, I nearly forgot these. So it actually is almost a perfect fit once I get those in. Um, I just padded the whole box, put all the void fill in, and then realized I'd left these on the side. So yeah, just a couple of bits, I'll, I'll put some void fill in. Let's do that now. And we are then good to go. should do it. Happy days. Okay so that's all ready to go. This isn't my label that, that was on the box from before. Um, if you're going to do FBA um, and you're going to start shipping out heavy boxes you're going to need a decent set of scales to be able to work out how heavy they are. So hold on. Right we have got 7.45 kilos. Uh, I'll drop a link to a, to one of these as well. Uh, you can get those fairly reasonably on Amazon. Okay, so we just need to generate shipping labels. So, da, 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 da. select an option here. So everything is in one box. Is that done? Uh, box weight. So we've got seven point four. Uh, it does ask for dimensions, but you have, don't have to put them in, so I don't bother. Um, double check that the contents are correct there, and then you can confirm. Okay, delivery charges. So if we calculate for, as you can see, 7.4 kilos, and delivery charge is going to be 508. That's using UPS. So you then just tick this box and accept the charges of 508 which is billed to your Amazon account and print box labels. Again comes down as a PDF. Happy days. Okay so all ready to go. Um, like I said this is UPS um, which is Amazon's preferred courier um, and it costs five pounds and eight pence to ship there's a local drop-off point. So you can have them collected um, from your door, which I believe is an extra charge, um, but there's a local drop-off shop. So I'll drop it down there now. Okay, so there you go, that's it. Hope that was useful. Um, if you do want to get hold of any of the stuff I mentioned in the video, I'll put links below to those bags and suffocation warning labels, the little barcode labels that I use, all that good stuff, there'll be links below, so check those out. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. I'll see you soon.